All right, let's talk about one of my favorite chat GPT plugins called Browser App. All right, before we dive in, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Jordan Wilson. I'm the host of Everyday AI. It is a daily live stream podcast and free daily newsletter helping everyday people like you and me keep up and get ahead with generative AI. So let's do one very important thing which is talk about ChatGPT and how to connect it to the internet. That is the number one, uh, I'd, I'd say, mistake that I see people using when they're talking about generative AI is not connecting uh, ChatGPT to the internet. Because without that internet access, you are cut off at September 2021. So that is the knowledge cutoff for GPT. Um, and you're going to get a lot of hallucinations. Um, but um, so you always need, anytime you're using ChatGPT, uh, Again, you need the plus, the $20 a month subscription. You need to enable plugins and then add uh, these different plugins. But you should always be connected to the internet anytime that you start a new chat inside ChatGPT. Um, and y'all, I'm a dork. I've been through every single, right? Look right there on the screen. I've tested every single uh, internet connected plugin. And Browser Op is one of my two favorites. Uh, if you want to know what my other one is, let me know in the comments uh, and I'll let you know. But let's go ahead and run it through the paces. So um, I'm going to explain it to you. So I'm going to say, um, please query the internet and tell me what accelerant agency in Chicago is. Okay. So I do these live, uh, you, you know, no editing of the videos. So you can see what this is and how this plugin works. So one thing that's really important. Uh, when talking about an internet connected plugin is you need the ability to query the internet that is different than visiting a link. So as you see here, I asked ChatGPT about Accelerant Agency. That is my uh, small uh, digital strategy company that I own based here in Chicago. Uh, and we produce the Everyday AI podcast. And you'll see here that uh, Browser Op queried the internet. So it searched the internet, not visited a web page, Big, big difference, right? Um, and you can always click here and see kind of what happened. And essentially, it did a search engine search, uh, you know, Accelerant Agency Chicago. Great. So that's one very important thing that you need to have um, in an internet-connected plugin. So now I'm asking another, um, another question. So now I'm giving browser op, a specific URL. And this is so important. I've done so many videos on this because even if you do this in something like Bard or Bing chat, uh, it might not tell you, but a lot of times all it does is it will take the keywords. So winning with chat GPT, Google sheets and automation, it'll take those keywords and it'll essentially query the internet. So, uh, these other large language models like Google Bard, uh, like Bing chat, they don't always visit the page. Sometimes they do, but most of the times they do not. They just run a query. So that's a big, huge competitive advantage for businesses when you can go in and have ChatGPT visit a specific website. That's key here. Uh, and you'll see here, it nails it. Uh, it did a uh, an overview of that web page, which we did have the transcript, so it makes it a little easier, but it essentially said, here's everything uh, that this... Um, that's on this, this web page. Here's the important parts. So now, not only can we query the internet, so we can talk to the internet, anything, we can also talk to a web page, right? So we can tell ChatGPT to read the contents of a web page and have a conversation with the contents of that web page. That part is key. All right. Now, the third thing that you might not even know that browser op can do um, is this. Let's do it live. So I'm going to go ahead and show you a little secret. So one thing that you should always do is you always need to test. You always need to test your plugins. So I asked at GPT via the browser op plugin to let me know in this document. So I hid something at the bottom. I did this a while ago. We have way more than uh, 854 podcast downloads right now, but I'm asking chat GPT to say, how many downloads did the everyday AI podcast have in the last week? And you'll see, this is a 108 page document. And I hid this, I literally inserted this kind of toward the very end, uh, or, or sorry, it's, it's, it's in the middle. Um, because you always wanna make sure that, the, that the, uh, the plugin is working correctly and not hallucinating. So uh, let's jump in. 
and see if it got it right. So I said, lastly, please read this PDF and tell me how many downloads the Every Day AI podcast has had in the last seven days. And I leave the link to the PDF. All right. So there it is. Awesome. Right. So that is one plugin that does three very powerful things. It doesn't do YouTube videos, but I have another plugin that also does YouTube videos as well as some basic internet things. So if you want to know that one, just uh, let me know in the comments and I'll, I'll, uh, I'll let you know. So I hope this was helpful. Browser op, like I said, is one of, I think the best plugins uh, out there right now. So like I said, I don't just tell you random things. I go through and I test them all, right? That's the difference. Um, that's the difference with, with what we do um, at Everyday AI. Uh, we don't just tell you things, you know, and say, oh, check this out. Or, you know, hey, you know, someone's paying us to say this. No, we test everything and we only bring you the absolute best and most accurate and up-to-date information. So if that's what you need to get ahead with generative AI, go to youreverydayai.com. Sign up for our free daily newsletter. That's where we share these AI in five videos as well as every single day. Monday through Friday, we do a live stream, a podcast, and we recap everything. We had a guest on today from uh, Microsoft talking AI and product management. Um, we bring some amazing guests that help you learn AI. So I hope you can join us and I hope you can come back for another AI in five. Thanks, y'all.